What's up you guys, it's Steve here and we have some breaking news that's coming out today that could be changing everything. Now, if you missed my video earlier today on stimulus checks and the push on Congress and Joe Biden to get out a fourth federal level stimulus check of $2,000, be sure to check that out right after this one because if things keep going this route with the breaking news that's coming out right now in this video, well, it'll become very much so more likely that we might need some checks as, take a look at this, there's a new variant that's been detected that is dramatically different than anything that we have seen so far. And as a result today, take a look at this, Biden restricts travel from South Africa and seven other countries starting on Monday. Now, this new variant is spreading drastically. Take a look at this, B.1.529. Look at this chart. As you can see, it is just taking over, and they're saying that this is a strain of concern. However, they're saying, don't be concerned just quite yet. We don't know a whole lot about it. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the video footage as they're going to be giving us updates as to what we do know, and they're trying to contain this before it starts getting spread around too fast and could be a major concern for countries around the world. But that did not stop investors from being concerned. Take a look at this, you guys. Dow logs its worst day in over a year as fears over this new variant gripped the global markets. And we saw a lot of red today in the stock market. And we heard that there was travel restrictions already over this new variant. And since this is a variant of concern, they have already given it a name as they only give names to the ones that they think could be a potential threat. And take a look at this, the variant's name is Omnicrom. It has a name, new variant causing global alarm dubbed Omnicrom. And Omnicrom, the new variant with a high number of mutations, which is the concern. Is this going to be resistant to vaccinations and sparks travel bans and is worrying scientists? Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at the video footage so you can hear directly from the scientists what we know so far, what they're saying about it, where it is already spread to, and what they're going to be trying to do to contain this. So you guys, I'm going to dive right in and get you caught up as to what we know so far on this new variant. And also, the question remains, how is this going to be impacting our economy? travel? How is Congress going to respond? Are they going to be needing more lockdowns, more mandates that could result in more stimulus reconciliation bills, more stimulus provisions, more checks? Now we will see. I will keep you up to date here on the channel, whatever unfolds. Now I'm going to get you all the details and I know this is not what anybody wants to hear, but if you appreciate that I'm keeping you up to date on economic news, what's happening, the breaking news, if you could do me a quick favor, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps out my channel, even if it's not what you want to hear but you appreciate the updates it helps out the channel a ton thank you so much leave your comments share this out if this is your first time here hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date and if you have any specific questions for me shoot them to me in the dm on instagram at steve ram 3 and also thank you so much for all the support on the second channel that we're going to be launching closer to the end of the year steve ram finance if you're somebody that's interested in growing wealth and learning about personal finance consider joining that channel i will pin a comment down below with a link. Click the link. It'll take you to the channel. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications. And when that launches, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be helping out a lot of people learn about personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to be taking a look at this video footage so we can get you caught up as to what's unfolding today with this new variant, how it might be impacting things, stimulus, Congress, the economy, everything going on. Let's go ahead and take a look. What can you tell us about this? Well, certainly there is a new variant uh, that is now in South Africa in the, in the Gauteng province that has some mutations that are raising some concern, particularly with regard to possibly transmissibility increase and possibly evasion of immune response. We don't know that for sure right now. This is really something that's in, in motion and, and, and we just uh, arranged right now a discussion between our scientists and the South African scientists a little bit later in the morning to really get the facts because you're hearing a lot of things back and forth. We want to find out <laughs> scientist to scientist exactly what is going on. But it's something that has emerged in South Africa and seems to be spreading in a, at a reasonably rapid rate in the sense of when they do test positivity, they're seeing that it's a bit more widespread in South Africa than was originally felt a couple of days ago. So it's in a fluid motion. We're finding more about it. And literally, it's something that in real time we're learning more and more about. Is it possible it's already in the U.S.? 
You know, of course, anything is possible. We don't know that there's no indication that it is right now. It seemed to have been restricted. There were some cases that originated in South Africa and that went to Botswana and people who traveled and found out they were infected and one that had gone actually to Hong Kong. So there's a lot of travel. You never know exactly where it are. And that's the reason why we're getting together to them to try and get the precise molecular makeup of it so you could actually test for it. And that's something that'll take a little bit to put the appropriate materials together to do that. But we are in very active communication with our South African colleague scientists. So explain to us the questions and the concerns about how this might evade immunity, because there are so many mutations here on the spike protein, which is what uh, a vaccine, the vaccines that we have are designed to hit. The question is now going to be right. Is that spike protein still permeable when it comes to the vaccine? Yeah, that's what we're going to be finding out, because when you look at a mutation, it can give you a hint or a prediction that it might evade the immune response. What you need to do is you need to get that particular sequence of the virus, put it in a form in the lab where you can actually test the different antibodies. So you can have a prediction that it might evade or you can actually prove it. Right now we're getting the material together with our South African colleagues to get a situation where you could actually directly test it. So right now you're talking about sort of like a red flag that this might be an issue, but we don't know. Once you test it, you'll know for sure whether or not it does or does not evade the antibodies that we make, for example, against the virus through a vaccine or following convalescent after you get infected. When you get antibodies, do those antibodies protect you against this new virus? The answer is we don't know right now, but we're going to find out for sure. Let's start with what's going on abroad. What more are we hearing from global health leaders about this variant and what's happening today? Chris, there is real alarm among health authorities around the world at this new variant. The UK is calling it the most significant variant we've seen to date, which means it is the most mutated variant we've seen so far. It is the one that is furthest away from the original Wuhan strain. And they are noticing a number of mutations on those spike proteins that make the virus so distinct. Now, it's probably going to be some time before we know exactly what this variant does. But in the UK, they are already raising concerns that it may be more infectious and that it could possibly be more resistant to our existing vaccines. I want you to take a listen to what the UK Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, had to say about this. The early indications we have of this variant is that it may be more transmissible than the Delta variant and, it, and the vaccines uh, that we currently have may be less effective against it. Now, the UK has cut off travel from South Africa and five other Southern African nations in response to this. We're seeing similar measures across Europe right now. Here in Israel, they've already found one confirmed case of the new variant. The Israeli prime minister saying we are on the threshold of an emergency situation. The Israeli government is going further than what we've seen in Europe. Chris, they are cutting off travel from almost all African nations right now now in response to this new variant emerging. Chris? So, Doctor, it's important to say this variant, at least according to Dr. Fauci, has not been detected in the U.S. But how concerned should we be and what are you watching for? Well, I think we should assume that it's likely in the U.S. by now, since we tend to underperform in our ability to pick up various uh, virus genomes. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if it's already in the U.S. I think there's, you know, before we press the panic button, I think there's a few things to consider. Yes, it does have some immune escape properties, this variant, or at least it looks like it might, but that's not what's been associated with high transmissibility. We've had other immune escape variants before that have not really taken off. It's the part of the virus that's, and if you're in cleavage site, that's been of greatest concern, not outside the spike protein. That's what gave rise to alpha among an unvaccinated population in the UK in 2020. That's what gave rise to Delta. 
in uh, India in 2021. So that's what I'm looking out for is, is the level of transmissibility and, and whether or not the rise, the sharp rise in South Africa is truly due to this variant, we don't know. So I think, you know, it's a long way of saying there's more we don't know than, than do know. Um, you know, the Delta variant is by far the most transmissible we've ever seen. It takes a lot to outcompete Delta. So I'm not panicked yet by any means. I think we've got to be thoughtful and I think we have to really assess how rapidly this is how is, is transmitted and whether it is indeed more transmissible to Delta. Uh, I'm not confident of that yet. And then if it does have some immune escape properties, it's likely to be partial Im immune escape. So all of this is a consequence of not vaccinating the world. And, and that's what, number one, what we have to do on a global scale. Here in the U.S., what you've got to do is make certain you're up to date on your COVID vaccine. So if you've not gotten that third immunization, get it And if you're eligible. And second, if you've been infected and recovered, you need to get vaccinated because that will make you more resilient against any kind of variant that will come in. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We're hearing that they're still learning a whole lot about this one. Uh, we're going to be seeing what unfolds. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And also, as we get more information on stimulus checks, the stimulus package, how Congress is going to be responding to all this, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you appreciate staying up to date and you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments. Share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, don't forget hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.